Just run away! There he is! Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally! I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. See you later. Boss, gentlemen, you're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah, okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize, but he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up!
I've been thinking about it, and I want you to pay off Red Ray and fix it. Give him a fix. Hey, you better sit down. I'll go. I'll... If that's your decision, Mr. Pecorino, it's done. I see his car. He should be heading over to a chop shop in Boabo. Don't get too comfortable with him, Nico. Like every rat, he's a survivor. He's got good instincts. He has a bad feeling about you in particular. He bought some protection and he ain't gonna hang around and wait for you know what to happen. And again, I'll get his chump muscle to stop for gas in the way. It might create a good opportunity for him. went to plan, Mr. Begorino. Way to have a tough job, Bellic. I don't got much left in mind, it's so clean. I'll talk to you soon. Space is my life. He's trying to ascend! <laughs> I don't think you need the car where you're doing.
I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what you... Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me... <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. <sighs> okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. Mm.